Hey, baby! And welcome back, everybody. Welcome back here to Resident Rise 3, where today I would like to really get started and possibly finish, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to finish, um, the Draconic Evolution Energy Storage thingamabopper. It's like a multi-block sort of thing. So I think we should just kind of dive right into it, but you may notice I'm sitting on some sort of shininess here. I think Monkey Puzzle came by. I can't imagine anyone else doing it, but uh, yeah, let's see here. Let me get out of F5, and if we look over these these are blaze lamps from batania and I, I'm, I'm a little scared to break them but i don't need this in the middle of my base i think it does kind of make for like a cool throne so yeah like if i'm sitting like this i'm on my throne it's kind of neat i don't know but i don't need them right here so hopefully i can pick them up so i guess these are made out of blaze rods much like glowstone lamps so they're kind of cool looking they definitely have a much better texture than glowstone blocks so thank you very much for the gift mr puzzle i appreciate it and we'll stick those right in my emmy system so um let's see here what do we need to get through today um so in between episodes one thing i did do is on my ender quarry that i have running in the nether is i added three speed upgrades to it so let's take check that out um if you look up the recipe here that didn't do it maybe it's just speed uh, these guys right here so an ender quarry comes with three tiers of speed upgrades which produce or uh basically kind of put a multiplier on the power usage and seeing as we have the super awesome uh pancake reactor that puts out forty three thousand rf per tick we can now handle these power upgrades so i went ahead and i put speed three upgrade on my ender quarry in the nether and it has basically netted me a lot of dang resources very quickly and that is how i got the rest of my draconium i've got 51 waiting for me here but basically what we are going to do today is we are going to make this uh tier 7 uh energy storage thing and it requires it requires 218 draconium blocks so i needed a lot more resources and yeah put, putting the speed upgrade on the on the on the quarry definitely did that for me so that's pretty cool so we've got lots of draconium here and the way what i do do when i get my draconium is i hit it with a fortune three pickaxe and you know collect all the goodies from it i think that's the best way to get the stuff out of it um yeah so you've got you know 64 of that and then you go ahead and smelt it up and you get your draconium i think you get your draconium ingots there i think if you put this draconium ore into the draconium chest you only get two now i could be wrong there i haven't tried grinding this up let's try this no it doesn't oh it just went in there now how many do i get out of that yeah so you only get two if you do it that way so i did waste a few bits of draconium there so that is a sadness but um hey we're doing all right on draconium at the moment so i'll, I'll leave that be for now i'm going to stick this draconium in here between episodes we'll we'll hit it with a pickaxe of three one funny thing is that the draconium will not go through the block smasher it doesn't like it so that is interesting so yeah the way i'm getting all of my redstone is is not going to be fruitful in the same way with draconium so a little interesting i'm fine with that it works for me so in here I've got all the redstone blocks that I think I need to make this thing. I've got all the draconium blocks. I know I'm going to need a little bit of glass, but I'm going to need a few more doodads. One of them being the energy core. So if I type in core, we will get this thing. Draconic evolution, draconium core. I guess first thing I'm going to need is one of these. Oh, what am I missing there? Doot, doot. Oh, I need four of these. Holy crap. So it is good that I am making more draconium because I might actually need it here in a second. So what is this? A wyvern core. I have not made a wyvern core before. So there is that. And then we need to make two of these, which is more of this. So I think two more of these will suffice. And then we do that. We make a wyvern energy thing. We'll throw that in there and that in there. Very good. And I think we could be able to just click this thing in now. There's our energy core. Very good. We're going to suck it away in the chest here. And then I'm going to need, I think, something called like particle. I've already forgotten the name. But I think if we type in like particle things, this looks like it. Particle gen generator. We're going to need four of these. So that's even more of these. My goodness, this does take a lot of draconium. All right. So boom. 
All right, one, two, three, and uh, what am I out of? What am I possibly? Oh, I didn't do enough of those. What? There we go. Boom. So then there's another thing, and I think I'm gonna have to pull up the whole mod to find it because I don't want to dig through the book. I would rather just kind of, um, let's see here, Draconic Evolution. There's the Energy Core. There isn't a whole lot in this, it doesn't look like, but I think it's this, Energy Pylons. I'm going to need like two of these. So that's two more Draconic Cores, yippee. All right, we're just, it, basically just stock up on Draconic Cores, good gravy. That is a lot of Draconium Cores. Now what, I'm out of these? Okay, we can make those, right? One, two, very good. And yeah, I think I just need two of these. So cool, I think we've got all the little bits we're gonna need to make this energy system now. The, the pain in the butt part is going to be the construction of said thing, but while we're in here, let's go ahead and grab some tesseracts. I'll grab at least one. Eh, we'll grab two, just for fun. Just for fun. So, my thoughts guys are, I'm gonna build this up here on one of these guys. Now, I, I don't know if I like the idea of this yet. I think I'm gonna have to build the, the the structure first and then see how it looks because I do have four of these and it would be nice to do something nice and uniform as opposed to just having one giant energy block on top of one of these. Now, if we get enough draconium, we can put four of these and the other two would be kind of non-functioning. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's, that, that is definitely a waste of draconium, but it would definitely uh, seal up the look of this place if there were four giant energy cores on top of this thing. So, all right, let's get the business here, shall we? I'm going to put this down. We're going to click it open and we're going to set our middle thing here. So th this is the basically got to be right in the dead center of the thing. There is our energy core. Now we have to remember that it is about three blocks up. So, and I have no blocks on me. Hold on, let's go grab some blocks real quick because I want this to look all right. So if we scoot in here, I just need, uh, technical blocks would be fine. Just grab me them. And we'll scoot back up there. It's about to become nighttime, but I think it's pretty well lit up here. So I don't think that's going to be a bother. So let's see here. So that is two up. So yeah, so one and two. I just want to put these here so I know where to put my energy pylons once I get the core of this thing made. So yeah, one, a two, and one, and a two. Very good. All right, so I guess what I could do now is work on the construction of this thing. So I need to clear all of this out. And guys, I'm gonna, it, I, I, I might do one of those little speedy up things or uh, one of those high speed build montages just to not bore you guys to death and we'll probably start that right about now
Okay guys, we are back, and I got this monstrosity completed, or at least I think I do. Um, we might find out shortly that I don't, but it does follow these uh, these plans here. Now, let's see here. To add and remove energy from the core, you need to place energy pylons within 15 blocks of the core. To activate the pylon, place a, black, uh, a glass block either above or below it, depending on whether the pylon is placed in yada yada. So, I guess the next thing I need to do... And I think it says this up at the top. Let's see if I can get this mouse scroll to do its business. Come on, let's go all the way to the top. So the energy core, the energy core consists of an energy core block. We've done that at the center, surrounded by four particle generators. The generators must be directly in line with the core, shown in the following images. The the generators must be placed within ten blocks of the core. Okay, and I think I've got that set up here. Now I, I did cut it a little close. So what I'm going to do is I think instead I'm going to put them one block back like that way. Yeah, I think that's going to look a little better because I didn't think it was going to be this tight, but it's very tight. So um, we want to give ourselves a little bit more room, at least visually, to see the thing. So I'm going to move these back one. And I'm not sure if they're going to continue to rest upon this te these technical blocks. We might pick some other material for them to rest on to make it look a little bit more... I don't know, futuristic or something like that. I don't know. But here's our... We'll take these, and we may as well take that. Um, let's go ahead and take these glass things, and I'll take these two trans... 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 Tres, tres, tres so, here we go. All right. Uh, I know I want to keep that on here. Now, one thing I did notice when I was building this thing is something a little funky started happening. My jetpack was running out of fuel, and it blew my mind because my jetpack almost never runs out of fuel. So what happens when I have one of these blocks in my inventory is that it drains the fuel out of my jetpack and then puts it in the draconium block. Now, I don't know how I feel about that. I Hopefully that's not going to mess up things, but I think some of these draconium blocks have like a charge to them, and I don't see it in Wayla, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I, I hope that really, I really hope that doesn't mess things up. If it does, we're going to have to figure out something. But let's get these situated and see if it works or not. Now, once they're set, I think that's all you probably need to do. We might need to click it or give it a blow it a kiss or something. I'm not sure. But if we do that, a particle generator. Eh. Eh. So what do I do to get this going? There we go. Holy crap. All right. You just needed to shift right click on it. And there we go, guys. How much can this store? 2.14 trillion RF, guys. That is... That's cuckoo bananas is what that is. I love it. All right, let's go get ourselves. I actually want to tear down these blocks, and we're going to replace it with these blocks because just visually, that's going to look better. And plus, I'm going to need a few more for another part of this. So let's go ahead and do this. So if we go down here... Let's see. I think I probably have some in here. I think they are... Let's just type in... Actually, I have some in the basement. Let's just grab those. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Give me that. So, 64 should be enough. But what I want to do is set this up so that it is getting power from our huge pancake reactor. And I do... I would really like the idea of filling this up just because it's such a cool idea of having four point what was it was it 40 billion bajillion rf 2.14 trillion rf that would be amazing look at that look at this beauty and i could definitely see it being very cool i don't know what it's going to do to my frame rate and by having all all four of these little things with one of these on it i think that would be really cool now i don't know how practical that is but i'm going to give it a try hopefully it doesn't cause the server any misgivings but let's do this and what do I do with this? I put a piece of glaze on top of it, and it does something. There we go. So this is an energy pylon. Apparently it can hold some stuff. Um, what I'm probably going to have to do is... It looks like it's colored orange right now. I don't know exactly what that means. But let's get that back. Let's put that down. Let's put that there. You could go away. There we go. Everything's situated now. So if we look here, energy consort consists of this, pylons... Um, no, that's all the way down at the bottom. Oh, the scroll on this is pretty rough, guys. The scroll on this is very rough indeed. Okay. 
Let's see here. To add and remove energy from the core, you must place energy pylons within 15 blocks of the core. To activate the pylon, place a glass block on it, which we did. Um, below it, depending on what the pylon is placed, what blah, blah, blah. When the glass block is placed on the pylon, it should activate. We did that. The link is indicated by the white energy particles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what what is it? Blue is input and orange is output. So this is going to be the output. So let's go ahead and we'll put a Tesseract here. And we're going to call this... Oh, we're going to call it uh, Server Crash. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, sometimes when you set down these Tesseracts, it seems to crash the server. It doesn't actually crash the whole server. It just knocks me out of the game. So, yeah, a little funky. A little funky, but whatever. So we're going to set this to... Seeing as this is the output, I'm going to set it as cat power. And it is going to send only. Yeah, so anytime we need power, we're going to hook it up to cat power. And it will be the source of all power from our giant collection ball of energy. So over here, we want to set in the input for power. So we'll do the same thing we did over there. I, actually, we got to activate this. So let's put a glass thingy there. And I think if I just click on this... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be changing colors. How about a wrench? Now, how do I change this thing? How do I change it to blue? How do I change it to blue? Do I have to read the thing? All right. Da, da, da. To toggle pylons between input and output, simply right-click the sphere. Oh, the sphere. So let's try it up here. There we go. So now it's blue, which is output. Uh, blue is input, actually. So what we want to do is we want to set this up to big cat power. Big cat power is what is connected to our giant reactor over there. So this is going to be big cat power. Click a mundo, and it's going to receive only. We could turn this crap off just for fun. Okay, and at the moment, it is filling up with energy, but this is just energy that is left over in the reactor because the reactor has actually been turned off. So cool. Um, let's see here. How much energy does it still have in it? At the moment, it has zero. And, but it does have a little bit of fuel still left in it, so it is producing 12,000 RF per tick. So if we run down to our main area down here. We're going to grab ourselves a bunch of dang yellorium. Yellorium. We'll just grab dat dat dat. Dat 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 dat. And we'll fuel this up. We're going to get a more substantial way of doing this other than just filling up our inventory with your yellorium. But for now, this will do if I can just get up here. Uh, uh, ah, I'm having problems. This area is not easy to navigate. So this is our fuel area. And if we look in here, this should start going up. And what that will do is start pumping up the output. So we're already up to 20 million, not 20 million, 20,000 RF per tick, which is pretty darn good. But it should max out at about 43,000 RF per tick, which I've never made in my life. <laughs> nope, just 41, it looks like. Ah, oh, I thought it got a little higher than that. But still, it's a very efficient... Very good running reactor. I, I spent a lot of time um, investigating what a good reactor build would be that would produce a butt ton of energy. And cool, it's definitely sucking all the power out of here. And it should do that forever because it's definitely got room to put it in. Check it out, baby. So it is definitely working, I think. So cat power, and this is receiving power. And it does appear that lots and lots of power is going in it. At the moment, we're up to six... 60 million RF in here. Hopefully over time this will this will increase to about a trillion billion RF. <laughs> Very cool. That is a neat little dynamic thing. So we've got our energy situation shored up here, guys. And yeah, this might be I haven't checked the time on this episode, but I do apologize if this is a bit of a shorter episode. But who cares, dudes? Look at this. We got two two trillion RF potential here. So we could Power is no longer an issue for us, so I say we go hog wild and make some crazy crap that takes a lot of power. So guys, as always, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know by leaving me a comment, alright? Leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye! Bye!